What's going on Dokkan Hunters? In today's Dokkan Battle video, I'm going to be explaining some more beginner tips that you need when you uh, start playing Dokkan Battle. So, in today's video, I'm going to be explaining the uh, different types of rarities, which ones are, you know, good for your team, and uh, how do you awaken characters. So, without further ado, let's jump straight in. So, first we have N characters. And our characters they suck don't put them on your team even if you're a beginner just don't put them on your team so let's just take them out right oh okay never mind and then now next we have sr characters now as a beginner if you don't have any ssr characters i would recommend putting some sr characters on your team so you know they can at least try and like you know they can at least help you out a little bit before you have a full team of SSRs. The next uh, rarity is SSR. So here's where we start getting into the good things. SSR characters can awaken into UR characters. You see this golden Frieza down here? It's uh, He has been Z awakened, which we'll get to that later. He has been Z awakened to a UR. Meaning that he uh, used these specific type of metals to Z awaken to get to to have this uh you are right here the uh you are on the top left you see right here it goes from ssr to you are next here next is where it gets really good here are tur's i like to think that uh what is it when you uh dokkan awaken characters i like to think of them separate from the you are when you z awaken them so tur characters are typically where you want to put you want to have a lot of TUR characters on your team if you have a lot of SSR characters on your team. That can be awakened into a TUR, which we'll get into that later. And then we have, finally, the best of the best LR characters, except for... Well, there are a lot of LRs in this game, and a lot of them are good. A lot of them are good, and then we have some that are, you know, just uh, straight up bad. But, yeah, so that's basically it in order. Let's see, what else? Alright, let's go over with the awakening part of this. So, N characters, uh, they don't- They Z awaken to R's, R's awaken to- No, 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 okay. But, yeah, you never want to use N characters or R characters on your team. Just remove them from your team and never ever see them again. Alright, next is SR characters. Now, SR characters, they can, I think- uh, here, I think most SR, I think all SR characters, I'm pretty sure, can be Z awakened into an SSR, but they cannot be, uh, Dokkan awakened into a TUR. However, there are some instances where, like, this Frieza, for example, can be Dokkan awakened into an SSR, and then Dokkan awakened into a TUR. There are a lot, there are a lot of characters that can do this in the game, I think, most of them are mainly free to play characters so you know if you ever have sr characters just kind of expect them to don't kind of awaken into ssrs and that's pretty much it next there's the ssrs now these are different from the sr ssrs because here they start out as ssrs they don't go from sr to ssr to ur and stuff like that you start off as an ssr and then you can awaken into a ur now uh, actually, wait. You know, yeah, here, we'll just uh, keep it like that for now. You, it'll, from SSR to UR, you, that's Z Awakening. So then it becomes this UR right here. And then from that Z Awaken right here, uh, this one right here, from SSR to UR, you go into TUR status right here, which is when you Dokkan Awaken the character. Just like this Vegeta right here, he went from UR to TUR. So, you know. You have to uh, Dokkan Awaken characters in order to, you know, uh, what is it? Greater their strengths in battle and defense and stuff like that. And then finally, if, uh, what is it? Some characters may start off in SSR form, then they go to UR after you Z Awaken them, then TUR after do you Dokkan Awaken them, and then you can Dokkan Awaken them for a second time to make them an LR character, which are only... A number, there are only like, actually, I don't even know how many LRs in this game. I, I don't remember, but there are a lot of characters that can go into LR, but uh, what is it? Most of them, 
will go to TUR. Not the LRs, I'm saying like most other units will go to TURs. So that's pretty much it with basically what it is going up. So now we're going to talk about how to awaken these characters. Now, let's see here. You see this Khalifa, right? She's an SSR. You want to get her to a UR by Z awakening her. So then you can, you know, up her stats a bit. So when you press right here on the UR version, you will see that you will uh, you need this, um, this many amount of medals to Z awaken the character. So you see here, you need 50 Gregories. You need 20 Mr. Popos, 10 Bobbities, 3 King Kai's, and then 1 Supreme Kai. You know. So you need these medals in order to Z awaken the character. If you don't have these medals, you can go like play the game a bit. Maybe it'll get um maybe some stages will give you the medals. Maybe you can go into the exchange shop. We'll get into that in another video. But yeah, you need these medals right here to Z awaken the character. If you don't have these medals, if you don't have all of these medals, like say you're missing the um maybe you're missing the Gregory's, which is this one right here. Uh whoops. Come on, take me back. There. Say you're missing the Gregory's. There will be four stars on the cauliflower. So, meaning that you're still missing like one more key component to Z awakening the character. Because you can't Dokkan awaken a character unless you Z awaken them. Now, after you Z awaken the character, which we'll go to this freezer right here, you will see it says right here Dokkan awakening. Now, most uh, characters that have Dokkan Awakening, they you need to go into the challenge event. So like uh, here, this Frieza needs 35 of the. Actually here, uh, first of all, if you want to know how many medals uh, you need, you can just press on here, and then you press on the medal, it'll take you to the event, or you just press this button right here, uh, this one right here, which it uh, says Awaken in uh, global for uh, global players if you're watching so it says awaken right here so then you want to go here you press on the metal and then uh this button says take to event and then it'll take you straight to the event and then you can do the event as many times as you want until you have enough medals to uh dokkan awaken the character now for let's here let's just do this so here when you're doing this, uh, Dokkan Awakening characters, I recommend you do Super. I don't have enough stamina. <laughs> I, was doing, I was riding your World Tournament earlier, but that's besides the point. You should do Super uh, mode. Why? Because every single time you complete it, you get seven of those medals. And if you remember, the Frieza to Dokkan Awakening needs 35 medals. So if you were to do that super uh, super version five times 7 14 21 28 35 that'll give you enough to dokkan awaken the frieza so you always want to do super and not z hard when you're dokkan awakening characters now not all characters will need like 35 to dokkan awaken this vegeta right here because he is a dokkan fest meaning he has a, a banner of his own where you know uh, let's see, he has a banner of his own, and like, he's the main headliner of the banner, so he's like, you know, the really special unit. So, you see right here, when I press on this, you see it says 77, meaning that you need 77 medals to do, uh, to Dokkan Awaken this Vegeta. Now, if you remember, the super rarity, this, no, 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 the super difficulty of the event gives you 7. So you need to do his event 11 times to Dokkan Awaken him into his TUR status. Now, hmm. let's say, okay, we're not going to take that Kaioken Goku, for example, because he's free to play. We'll get to free to play units in a bit. We'll take, like, maybe this uh, MUI Goku, for example. You see here, to Dokkan Awaken him to TUR, you need 35 of those medals. Okay, seems simple enough. Then, most LR characters that are most LR characters need two uh what is it you need to do two different stages and you need to get 35 of those medals so then you can LR them because LRs are like they're at the top of the Dokkan pyramid the Dokkan food chain so you need to do maybe two 
uh, maybe two different events and get 35 medals from each, you know. And then, like, let's say here, let's go to the seven years that, right here. You need 35 medals to Dokkan Awaken them to TUR. And then to LR, you see right here, you need three different medals. So, if you want to know how many medals you need or whatever, just remember to click on the uh, LR up here. So then you can see how many of each you need. And remember, when you press on the medal right here, you press the orange button right here that says take to event, and then it'll take you to the event. So that's, the thing is, that's with summonable characters. With free to play characters, it's a bit different. So let's take this, uh, Bobbity, for example. He's free to play. He came out during 8th anniversary. You see here, he has the regular, you know, go to TU or go to LR. But it's different, because usually free to play characters, you get them from, uh, story modes. And you need to, like, grind up their medals and stuff. So you see right here, to get him to TUR, you need 30 of those medals. And then to get him to LR, you need 50 of those medals. You see you see what I'm saying here? I mean, you see uh, what's different here with this LR version? You don't need two different medals to LR him. You only need one. That's what, uh, that's what how it is with free-to-play characters, like, almost all the time. Like, here, with this Kaioken Goku, it's a bit different. So you need these medals, right? These seven medals. And then you need these medals right here, which you get from the uh, Greatest Warrior missions that you completed at the beginning of the game when you first started. So you see here, you need all these different medals. For free-to-play characters, the, uh, what is it? The Dokkan Awakening is way different from, uh, summonable characters' Dokkan Awakening. So, that's pretty much, uh, like, the different types of rarities and Dokkan Awakening in a nutshell. Don't think I really need to explain any more, no. No, I think that's pretty much it with the Dokkan Awakening and, uh, Z Awakening and LR and stuff. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, video of me explaining, you know, what, uh, the different types of rarities are. Again, remember, N characters and R characters, you never want to use them. SR characters, if you don't have enough SSR characters when you're, uh, beginning out, it's good to put some SRs in your team for now. SSR characters are, you know, they're good. UR characters, these ones right here, are pretty good when you Z awaken them. TUR characters are really good, they'll help you out in a lot of events. And then LR characters are top of the, you know, top of the notch, you know, just top of the Dokkan pyramid, top of the Dokkan food chain, whatever you want to call it. So, yeah, and then remember that if you want to ever awaken a character, you just hold down on them, and then you go to this button up here, this orange button, and then you tap on the character and you see what you need to Dokkan awaken the character. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this a video of me explaining, you know, the different types of, uh, rarities and, like, how to Dokkan Awaken characters and Z-Awaken characters, and I hope to see you guys in my next Dokkan video. Bye!